Michelle Caruana, owner of Climbing Banks Cafe and Play and Play Cafe Academy. And in today's video, I wanted to give you a tour of the cafe side of our facility. So I'll link to it in the video description, but I already gave you guys a tour of our play area. So I figured why not give you a tour of the rest of our facility. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every single week and make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every single time I put out a new video. So we're gonna start here. So right when you first walk in, we have some retail items available. We have some awards that we've won because I like to highlight things we've done in the community. And we also have a community board. So on this community board, we have thank you notes from previous clients. We have some flyers for other local businesses and in exchange for allowing them to list their services on our community board, we in turn have brochures and flyers at their facilities. So I'm gonna continue walking. So this is where customers come to check in. So as you can see, it's right when you walk in the door so that customers don't have time to wander around and get confused. We have a nice welcome sign and someone greets them right when they walk in and they're able to walk them through all of our different policies and all of our different pricing. We make sure that we always have brochures and flyers available at the front so that if there is a line or something like that, there's always reading material for people to look at. Um, again, in the event they have to wait or in the event that they have questions. We have always um, sales or something like that on our TV. So we used to play television in our facility, but we used to get a lot of complaints. So instead we highlight different parts of our facility. So sometimes we'll have birthday party images up there. Right now we have a play pass sale and we always try to highlight something different that's happening. We might have information about an upcoming event. So pretty soon we'll probably switch to advertising about our Halloween event if it's not sold out yet. Um, but we do always try to use that for advertising purposes because it's free and why not take advantage of it while people are here. So here we have some grab and go snacks. We have um, some different coffees that people can buy, they're retail items. We also have our cooler. Um, we do think it's important that we have a guest facing cooler. One of our biggest questions is if you know, parents get really upset because children can reach in and grab. And because we serve children that are under five, a lot of them typically can't reach. Um, but we do try to put healthy options in here as well. And we try to put the healthier options at the front. So that's the first thing that the kids see. And then the sodas and things to the back. But it definitely works for us. We cover it every single night. Um, but if it was behind the counter, it would require a lot more staff intervention. This way people can kind of choose what they want and then they can bring it up themselves to the front because typically we'll only have one staff member at a time. So this really helps us uh, make sure that everyone's getting what they want um, in a timely fashion. This is where we keep our menus. We have our snack menus here. We have um, our dry erase markers so that people can make their selections and they can write their name so that if we have a line for snacks, we know which menu goes to which person because honestly, when it gets busy in the winter, it is difficult to remember which snack tray goes with which person. So that's one way that we're really able to keep track. We have all of our teas here. Um, we offer, offer organic teas in addition to all of our coffee services. Um, and we have additional grab and go snacks here. So we do a lot of um, grab and go chips. We have pirate smoothies typically. Um, we have apple sauces and we have breakfast bars. And that typically fills the needs for our customers. A lot of times we will get questions about offering a full menu. However, we do allow outside food and drink at our facility so it doesn't really make a big difference. Um, we choose to not carry the overhead costs that comes along with a full kitchen. We'd have to have a lot more equipment, we'd have to have a bigger space, and we would have to have a lot more staff members. So we choose to operate on the leaner side and that works for our business. But again, if you're opening an indoor playground, you might wanna survey the area and see if they would appreciate having a full service cafe. So this is typically where the coffee is. We don't have any coffee right now because we haven't opened yet today. But usually the coffee pots are right here. Um, we typically will do two to three roasts per day. We always do a regular blend, we always do a flavored blend, and then occasionally we'll do decaf if asked. And this is where we put all of our stir sticks, our covered straws, our sugars, creamers, lids, all that good stuff. Um, and we have a little trash can for people to throw things out. This is where people can leave their shoes. So we do have shoe cubbies here. Um, however, these fill up very, very quickly, especially in the busy months. So we also have shoe racks or shoe mats rather. Um, and then we also have coat racks where people can hang up their coats because something that I found is if you don't have a specific place for coats and shoes, people will just leave them everywhere and it will start to clutter your facility. And especially if you're really, really busy that day, it, it will be, start to become a problem. 
So you want to make sure that you have designated spots for those. And this works, it's nice and tucked away. We have chairs so that children can sit down while their parents help them put their shoes on. And that's really helped us keep everything seamless. Um, and when we're at capacity, a lot of times we'll take notice of when customers come out of the play area and into this area. And we'll know that they're probably putting on their coats and jackets um, and shoes, and then we'll start letting other people in. So we kind of watch for people to go into this area. We also have a lot of art and coloring supplies on top of the shoe cubbies. Again, that's in the event that we get to capacity and people need to wait, or if a child just needs a break from the play area. We have a lot of our policies um, on the wall so that people can clearly read them. And then we have a couple storage cabinets. So the one on this side is all of our party supplies, and then the one on this side is all of our paper products and things like that, our bathroom supplies. So we have minimal storage here. We also have a storage unit. Um, but anything that we're using constantly throughout the day is going to be in one of those cabinets so that our staff can easily access it. The last couple of things I want to show you guys is we also have a reading basket. So we have a bunch of books that people can select from. So we have a mixture of both books and magazines for parents and books for children. Because again, a lot of times kids will just need a quick break from the play area and they'll want to sit and read a book. So we make sure we get people options in order to do that. Um, and then we also have brochures here so that if a parent is relaxing, drink, drinking a cup of coffee while their child's playing, they can take a look at our birthday party options. We also make sure that we always have a couple napkin dispensers available in case anybody needs one, um, because if you don't have them available, people will definitely ask. And then the last thing that I wanted to call attention to is our mouse toys bin and also our sanitizing station. So if you take a look at our website and look at all of our pictures, you'll see we have about seven or eight sanitizing stations throughout the facility. And that's really important because one of our priorities is being as clean as possible. Um, and we also have this clearly labeled and we try to clean these as many times per day as possible. Because again, we do a lot of play food and things like that. So a lot of times kids will put them in their mouth and they need to be sanitized throughout the day. So just having this out and available gives people peace of mind that we do keep our facility as clean as possible and we think that we can be trusted with their kids' health and safety. This is where you go into the play area and this is where we will end today's video. And we have our policies here as well as on our website and over by the shoes so that again, it's in as many places as possible so that if anyone has any questions, they're clearly posted and they can reference them at any time. Have a great day and thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about anything you saw, please feel free to let me know. Um, we do have also our bathrooms. Actually, let's go and do one more thing. So don't forget to subscribe um, if you haven't yet. But one more thing before we end this video. So we also have a little quiet corner over here and this is where kids can go to kind of cool down if they need a second. If Maybe they're a little bit overstimulated or they just need a break from the play area. We have couches. Um, a lot of mothers will choose to breastfeed over here. We have a child size table. Um, and then we also have some sensory equipment on the walls. We have books. Um, and then you have some blocks that give a little bit more of a focused play option. And for birthday parties, a lot of times grandparents will sit over here and it's um, just a nice place for adults who maybe don't have children that are play area age to sit and relax and talk and like I said this is a very popular breastfeeding spot even though we encourage people to breastfeed wherever they feel comfortable um, but this is definitely a nice option for people if they're dealing with a tantrum or if they just want to have a quiet second. So that is the cafe side of our facility and now if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and I will be happy to respond to them. Thanks for watching I'll see you guys next